What have you been buying something that's been marketed, advertised, as, and labeled as 100% fat free, and you find out it's pure fat? Would that bother you? OK, you want to see it? I call this the Pam scam. You knew this was coming. And uh, look over there. It says it doesn't have any calories, no calories from fat, no total fat, no sodium, no cholesterol, no carb, and no protein. Yet I had to pay $3.29 for this, and that says there's nothing in it. <laughs> and look over here. What does it say over there? Fat-free. And look up here. It says no calories from fat, and here it says no weight of fat. So using all systems, it says... No fat. But does anybody know what the only ingredient is? The only ingredient is oil. So can you actually buy something that says fat free and find out it's pure fat? Now come on people, this is like going to your first 12-step meeting. If you don't admit the problem, I can't help you. So can you actually buy something that says fat-free and find out it's pure fat? Yeah. Yes. Now, how do they get away with it? Serving size. There's a rule that says if a serving size is less than a half a gram, they could round everything down to zero. Now, has anybody ever read the serving size of this? Some of you have. The serving size says... One quarter of a gram. Is a quarter gram less than a half a gram? So can they round down everything to zero? Now, I want to put that in perspective for you because not everybody knows what a quarter gram is. Not everybody went to college in the 60s, so not everybody knows what a quarter gram <laughs> is. <laughs> does everybody know what a medicine cup is? I had one here a minute ago. Does everybody know what a little medicine cup is? Those little cups you see on the top of like Pepto-Bismol and all the rest? So I'm going to try and look in my pockets and put my coat on to do that. Here we go. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> it's like magic. Okay, this is, a med this is a medicine cup. And if you allow me to round off, it's 30 grams. So if I want to show you a quarter gram, I have to fill this up and split it 120 times. Could you imagine what I'd be left with? I couldn't, so I did it. So I actually bought 120 of these. That's my job. I don't laugh at your job. <laughs> I get paid to do this. So, so I filled one up. And I split it up the other 119 times. And by the time I was done, you know what I was left with? It wasn't even a drop. It wasn't even like a droplet. There wasn't even enough for a mist. So I had to estimate how much was left in there. And you know what I estimated it to be? A molecule. Now, you may think that that sounds ridiculous, that they make serving size a molecule, but the FDA lets them do it on one condition. And that is that you say how many seconds to spray to get the molecule out. Now, has anybody ever read that? Let me read it to you. It says one-third of a second. <laughs> now, I am a trained professional, so I'm going to attempt this. If any of you have a watch with a second hand, you time me, okay? My goal, one-third of a second. You ready? How did I do? Too long. So how do you get a third of a second? Yeah, oh, no, you do. Watch carefully. I've been at this a long time. You do. Watch carefully. Leave the lid on and just wave it over food like this. Just go like this. So, so, and say a little blessing, like, Baruch atah, I don't know. <laughs> OK, I'm kidding. But I, I do want to show you how to do it, because I am a professional. And you spent a lot of time and money to come here, so I want to show you how to do it. But just do me one favor. Do not blink and do not sneeze, because I'm only doing this once, and the presentation is one-third of a second, OK? So everybody ready? Quiet. You do this long enough, you learn, okay? So now, 
if you do what they say, this can has over 500 servings in it. <laughs> now, I bought the one at Costco. It has 1,500 servings in it. I left it in my will for my granddaughter, just in case. Now, is that misleading? Yes. Does that make it a bad product? Well, I don't think you should use any oil. But what if you knew somebody was going to use some oil and they wanted to use a little bit? What would be better? To try and pour a little bit out of a quart or to try to do this the best they can? What would have been better for them? That, that would have been better. But what if they're the typical American and they read the label and they stand in front of the stove all day and they go like, so, some of you got practice at this. And they go, Psss. No, honey, don't worry. You see, it says fat free here. Psss. Is that a problem? You bet it is. So, now look at this one. This one says Pam Professional. And I had to buy this one. You know why? I'm a professional. So, so I had to buy it. And look over here, it says high heat. Well, we're not doing a fat lecture, but anytime you see high heat associated with fat, run. Because that means it's some sort of saturated fat. And if you look, it's hydrogenated vegetable oil. But that's not why I bought it. The reason I bought it and it caught my attention is as you can, oh, I don't have it with me. It's got a new nozzle and an ergonomically shaped can that fits your hand better. And that's why I bought it. Because I've always been worried with this one that I'm going to get carpal tunnel. You see, but with that one, I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> now. Have, have any of you ever seen this? It says, I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. Would you like to hear what I can't believe about it? <laughs> Look over there. It says, no calories. But the ingredients are water, soybean oil, and buttermilk. Now, the last time I checked, oil and buttermilk have calories. So how do they get no calories? Serving size is a quarter gram, so all these numbers become zero. Now, I was once doing this some years ago on Fox News. They were, wanted to do a little thing on labels, so I showed them this one. And as I got to this point right here, the woman behind the camera jumps out. This was like sitting on the table, and she walks over and she goes, Oh, my God. I said, What's the matter? <laughs> she says, You don't understand. I use that. I said, no, no, you don't understand. You just have to know that all these numbers are lies. And if you're going to use it, not that I recommend it, but just use a little spritz. She says, no, no, no. You don't understand. I have believed all those numbers. So for years, I figure, why bother with the spritzer? I just take the top off. I pour that all over my food. You think she's the only one? No. Look at this one. This one I actually found in the health food store not too long ago. And this is called Smart Balance. And look, can everybody see what it says over there? It says zero fat and calories. Now, before we go any further, I just want to make sure we're all on the exact same page here. Does everybody know what zero means? <laughs> OK, I just want to make sure. Because it says zero fat. And then over here, it says it has the right balance of fats to help improve your cholesterol. <laughs> How could you have the right balance of something that you don't have in there? Unless the right balance is zero. And then over here, it says it has the ideal ratio of fats. Now, I don't know about you, but this was very, very confusing and upsetting to me when I saw this. So I figured I'll turn it over and read the ingredients. And it said that it had, because maybe that'll help. And it said it has a natural vegetable oil blend, soy lecithin, and grain alcohol for clarity. <laughs> so I just popped the lid off, I sprayed some in my mouth, and suddenly, Everything made sense. <laughs> <laughs>